Many products we consume and use in daily life require the successful extraction of basic resources. But sometimes, these processes can be time-consuming, expensive, and environmentally challenging. Lignin is a source of many useful chemicals, such as vanillin, vanillic acid, phenol, etc. Lignin can be used to produce a variety of materials, including epoxy resins, polyurethanes, and phenolic resins. More than 50 million tons of lignin are produced annually, but only 2% of them are used for industrial purposes. Vanillin is widely used in pharmaceuticals for flavoring food, as a food preservative, and as a fragrance in cosmetics. As the vanillin market is estimated to be worth more than 100 billion euros, many researchers are paying close attention to discovering green and environmentally friendly processes for the synthesis of vanillin from lignin or ferulic acid. Researchers at the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology of the University of Ljubljana have been working on an improved process of vanillin production. Bio-based economy is a solution for our society. We know how to perform complex processes in the laboratory. But if we want to replace the petroleum-based economy, we need the competitive processes, and this usually requires cheap reagents and simple procedures. We have developed a simple process to break down the macromolecule lignin into simple aromatic compounds. Our method can convert lignin from softwood to vanillin using aqueous hydrogen peroxide and cheap vanadium-based catalyst. Various types of lignin can be used as feedstock, including craft lignin, which is a byproduct of paper manufacturers. The process can be used for the selective synthesis of vanillin from ferulic acid, and ferulic acid is readily available from wheat or rice straw. The key advantages of the innovative process are hydrogen peroxide is used as an oxidant, leaving water as a byproduct. Vanadium oxide, a cost-effective chemical that does not require additional ligands, is used as a catalyst, thus making the process cheaper than competitive solutions. Vanillin is produced selectively. In the oxidative degradation of lignin, three aromatic aldehydes are formed. In our process, the other two aldehydes are converted further, and this results in the selective formation of vanillin. The process can be modified to convert to other products, e.g. vanillic acid. The advantage of selectivity? At the end of the process, it is not necessary to separate the formed aldehydes from each other, which would significantly increase the cost. Improvements also apply to ferulic acid, which is a product of biomass, usually isolated after microbiological degradation of lignin. Want to know more about the synthesis of vanillin from lignin and ferulic acid innovation? For more information, contact the Knowledge Transfer Office of the University of Ljubljana.